So today I wanted to talk to you about how to close and convert clients on a discovery call or a clarity call. So today I wanted to talk to you about how to close and convert clients on a discovery call or a clarity call. So this is a constant question, an obstacle that I, f I find very common with a lot of spiritual entrepreneurs that are new on their journey. And I'm going to share with you um, a tip that I've received from my sales and business coaches that I don't really necessarily agree with and I'm going to share with you why and it's probably the number one thing that you're doing right now that is keeping you from closing deals but it's for a different reason than what your normal sales coaches and business coaches are telling you and so the discovery and clarity call is exactly like what it sounds it is a call to find uh, clarity or discover if there is a mutual fit um, between you and a potential client for your program or offering. And so most business and sales coaches are gonna tell you that you should not be coaching or giving too much information on these calls. It should be more of a diagnostic. And to, to agree, I agree with this, but I also have a 38 to 40% ratio, primarily from cold and mildly warm traffic. And so what I can tell you is that's first an amazing closing ratio. And so I wanted to throw that out there, not to brag, but to let you know that I don't necessarily agree with um, what I just shared and here's why. And here's why um, I feel you can actually share whatever it is that you're being guided to share on a discovery or a clarity call and still close and convert clients. So first off, I prefer my intention for my strategy calls is to lead with generosity. And to most business or sales coaches, it's going to look like I'm way over giving on my calls because I am giving out so much information. I'm helping them come to so much clarity. I'm bordering on coaching, if not coaching so much on some of my strategy calls. And I'm just giving out a lot of information. Literally, they could walk away and implement everything that I share with them down to the very details. And here's the thing. If someone is showing up in front of you and they don't have the intention to hire a mentor or they're, and they're just a taker, right? They're just looking for free information. You attracted them into your energy, likely because you do have boundaries of overgiving. And so they're reflecting this back to you. So if you are overgiving from a place of, uh, from an unworthiness issue um, or a place of lack, and so you're overgiving in other areas of your life too, uh, your sales call just being one of them, then this would be a boundary issue that you would want to reel it in and, and pay more attention to how much you are giving on the call. But that's only energetically when you are leading from a place of lack, right? When you're leading from a place of lack of confidence, you're leading from a place of lack of knowing and a lack of, you know, worthiness in the value that you're bringing to the table. If the energetic frequency behind your overgiving is coming from a place of lack, then you will attract people into your experience that are takers, not just in your business, but in life as well. And your clients would be one of these as a mirror reflecting back to you. However, if you are in alignment and you are leading with generosity and you are giving from a place of abundance, and you know that the right clients are always going to sign up with you and that you don't have to figure out who or what or when that's going to happen. You just know that you show up and you give what you were guided to give. You receive what you re you're guided to receive and you share it, right? And you come with the highest and greatest intention. I find that that trumps any other, you know, sales 
quote unquote strategy. When you show up and leave with generosity from a place of alignment and abundance and you're detached from the outcome and you give, and in most cases, according to other business and sales coaches, it would be referred to as over giving or coaching or over coaching on a discovery or sales call, your soulmate clients will still sign up with you and here's why. If you're first, if you're attracting the person in the first scenario, which is more of a taker that is reflecting back to you the taking because you are over giving from a place of lack, what they're going to receive on that call when you're giving, giving, giving is they're going to be thinking, well, I can go do this myself now. I got everything that I need from her. She gave me a lot of good information um, and they're going to think I can go do this now without her and they're not going to sign up. But the same exact scenario done from a place of abundance and done from a place of high intention and done from a place of integrity and done from a place of just following the guidance and sharing what needs to be shared, even if that is considered quote unquote coaching on the discovery or clarity call and you just allow it to flow however it's supposed to flow and you don't worry about overgiving and or any of those things or, or, or coaching or not, like you don't care, you're just in alignment. If it's your soulmate client on the other end versus the person in the first scenario, the taker, your soulmate client is going to think differently. They're going to think, wow, um, if she just gave me this much information in one hour, I can't even wait to see what she's giving me inside of a paid program. And your soulmate client is going to be thinking at the end of the call, can you please tell me about your program? Can you please give me more details or what's going on with your program? They're gonna be so excited about what you just provided them that they want more. They're gonna be asking for more. They're gonna want details. They're gonna to wanna to know the price. They're gonna to wanna to know what the program includes. And they're just gonna be like ready to sign up because you just gave them so much value. They're not gonna be thinking, well, she just gave me so much value and it blew my mind. So now I'm gonna go do this on my own. Because the person that makes that decision is someone that's coming from a mindset that isn't looking to up level. They're looking to get information. They don't have the intention to hire a mentor. They're still operating from a lack mindset. They're thinking in the back of their head, well, instead of spending money, I'll just go do this myself versus, hey, let's get into the energy of this person because she's already doing what I'm doing and I want to get there sooner than later. So I'm going to get into her energy as quickly as I can. How do I sign up? Do you see what I'm saying? Your ideal soulmate client is ready and you giving or leading with generosity and even bordering on coaching in your strategy sessions or sales calls or discovery calls or clarity calls is not going to deter your soulmate client away. If anything, it's just going to seal the deal. Um, but it will push away your, your, your clients, your potential clients that are not ideal fits for you that are there to match up with you and be a mirror for your lack of alignment, right? And for your over giving and your unhealthy boundaries and your leading from lack and your maybe over giving in a form of trying to convince somebody that your, you know, X, Y, and Z, you know, that your program that does X, Y, and Z is good enough or whatever, right? And so the moral of the story is you don't have to worry about the sales call. The sales calls will sell your program themselves without you having to worry about it. The thing you have to pay attention to is, are you operating from alignment? Are you in full integrity? Do you have an abundant mindset? Are you detached from the outcome? Do you know that the universe supports you and that they're always guiding clients to you no matter what and that you're so in line with your purpose, it can't not happen. That's just the next logical step. When you're in that mindset, you're gonna call in clients that are a match to you and it's not gonna be anything on the sales call, right? It's going to be very easy breezy. I love that phrase. I've been using easy breezy lately because that's just what life feels like lately. Very easy breezy, right? Everything can be that way if you allow it. And so the question isn't whether or not you need to study, you need to go get another sales book and study sales tactics or strategies or psychology. The question is, where are you out of alignment if you're not attracting the soulmate clients? It's not about even 
how you necessarily structure the sales call. And I've played around with the sales call in so many different formats just to sort of prove this point to myself that it really doesn't matter what I do on the sales call. The only th other than showing up in, in high integrity with the highest intention to serve, to share the wisdom and the guidance that's coming through, to leave no one hanging. There are people that show up on my strategy calls and right out the gate, I know that they're not going to be a fit for the program and I still hold the call with them and I deliver massive value for them. But I already know they, they got on my calendar and they're not the ideal fit. Because I show up to serve and that is the highest intention that I hold is to serve no matter what. And if the universe is going to place somebody in front of me for whatever reason, I know it's because they need to hear something that I'm going to say. And even if I know it's not going to result in a sale today, maybe it will tomorrow or maybe it won't from them, but it will from somebody else because the universe always supports me. The universe is always guiding me. And when I show up in highest intention and lead with generosity and lead with gratitude and lead in that highest integrity and intention, the universe has no choice but to support me. The, the universe is, the, the reality is reflection of that. Your inner reality creates your outer reality. It's about alignment. It's not about psychology. It's about alignment. Alignment trumps all of your sales tactics. Alignment trumps all of your logarithms. Alignment trumps so much. It, it trumps everything. It's 99% alignment and a little bit strategy, right? So if this resonates with you, I'd love to hear from you. Leave your question or comment below this video wherever you happen to be watching it. And if this really resonates with you, then I would love for you to hop on my Soul Line Success Masterclass, which you can also find below this video wherever you're watching it or on my Instagram bio at Spiritual CEO. And I look forward to seeing you in a new episode very soon. Namaste.